hello guys welcome back again in this video we are gonna see how to extract the data from any allied one signal notifications when the app is in the foreground or even in the background so before we begin writing code inside the android studio let us see what are the available notification events we can use in order to play with the notification data so there are mainly three events available for android background notification received event notification opened event and foreground notification received event basically these are all interfaces so background notification received event it gets triggered all the time whether the app is in the foreground state or in the background state doesn't matter and by default one signal sdk is actually using this background event otherwise we will not be able to see any notifications Although this topic will be explained in a separate chapter. So make sure you have subscribed and press the bell icon. So that next time whenever I publish that content you will be notified from YouTube. Next we have notification opened event. It gets only triggered while opening the app after the notification is clicked. Finally we have foreground notification received event. Foreground notification received event gets fired up when the app is in the foreground or when the app is visible on the screen also it gets fired up before displaying a notification so we can use this handler to decide if the notification should show or not anyway these are the three types of notification events we can use in our applications so now let's jump into the android studio and see how to use these interfaces one by one Alright, as you can see I have already opened the project which we have created in the last video. So if you haven't seen that video then you should watch that first. Because we have already discussed some of the basics about the OneSignal SDK. Like how to connect Firebase with OneSignal platform then how to initialize the SDK. Also we have seen how to send test notifications just to ensure that the SDK is up and running. Until now we are just receiving notifications right so now let's implement our foreground notification received event so inside main activities on create method i will call one signal dot set this one set notification will show in foreground handler then new one signal dot waste notification will show in foreground now whenever our app receives notifications and when our app is in the foreground this method will get fired up anyway now we are gonna retrieve the data from this waste notification received event object so now i'm gonna create an instance of waste notification class that will hold all the notification data waste notification mm, notification equal to waste notification received event dot get notification now from this notification object we can retrieve all the data such as title description or even some additional data let's say along with the title and description we need to retrieve some other data whatever is attached with the with the notification like product name price delivery date and so on so all these data can be attached as an additional data okay now if i type notification dot you can see get body which will return the message of the notification then get title will give us the notification title then get additional data it will give us all additional data in the form of a JSON object. And these three are the key get methods when it comes to retrieving data from a notification. There are still a few more get methods you can check out by yourself. Anyway, for now, I'm gonna show the notification title and body in the log cat. Log E. plus notification dot 
get title now press ctrl d duplicate line here call notification dot get body okay now i'm gonna build and run this code on my android device as you can see our app is running now so now if i send a test notification from the one signal website this event should trigger and these two log messages should be printed in the log cat because currently our app is in the foreground state right anyway let's open log cat i just want to see the main activity logs now let's send a push notification from the one signal website click on messages new message new push now set a title then message now scroll down to the bottom click review and send then send message see in the locket we received the notification data immediately this is the title and this is the message or body but guys i'm still waiting to see the notification it's not being displayed yet so let's wait see finally it came in do you know why it took a little while well let me tell you just because we haven't called complete method with the notification event so to fix this delay just call at the end waste notification received event dot complete then pass this notification object now the notification should show immediately as soon as we receive the message let's test again okay let's now send another push notification messages new message new push set the title then message now scroll down review and send send message let's minimize quickly see this time we received the notification immediately great we have fixed the issue now let me show you how you can update the ui instantly like i said this foreground event will be in active mode only when our app is actually in the foreground state anyway now in order to update the ui Mm, as you can see here i have already initialized a text view called txt hello world right so this is where i'm going to display the title whatever is coming through the notification but you can of course try different approaches for example you, you can launch a new activity or fragment or even dialogue then represent the data anyway now here just above this complete call simply type run on ui thread then new runnable so you may ask why are you doing this well as you might know that whatever we do while updating the app ui we do the work on the main thread not just any other threads right having said that here whenever this foreground event gets triggered it will create its own thread therefore all the code whatever is written will be executed in that thread simple and this is the easiest way to create a main thread environment anyway i will simply type txt hello world dot set text then notification dot get title also here i will create a log message just to show you the current thread name thread dot current thread dot get name 
let's copy this line and paste it outside of this run on ui thread perfect now i'm going to test it again so let's build and run this code see the application has been installed so now we can send the notification open the one signal website again messages new message new post now set a title set a message now review the message and send it Yes, see the notification has been shown. Also, the title has been updated on the UI. Moreover, here in the log cat, you can see this is the name of the thread that is used by the one signal SDK. And this main is actually the name of the application main thread. I think now you got the answer that. Why did I use this run on UI thread here? I hope now you can implement and make use of this foreground notification received event in your applications. I have tried to explain everything that you need to know about this event. But if you still have any questions or suggestions then drop them in the comment section. I will definitely try to address all your queries. In the next video I will discuss the background notification received event. So that's all for today guys. I'll catch you in the next one.